Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 122. We're off speedometers now. We're on to some more kind of clever things you can do with charts. But one of the things we learned in speedometers is going to help us today. What I have here is average patient wait times. And what I want to do is I want to chart high. Here's a patient that waited 120 minutes down to the lows. Patient made it 25 minutes. So Monday was a bad day. Here's some other days. But notice how the chart kind of floats on, or the series kind of floats on my chart. I've got the, the column it's just appears to float in midair. And let me show you how I did that. First trick is to get your data right. This is my actual data down here, and then we'll come back to the charted data in a minute. What the actual data says is my low for Monday was 25 and my high was 120. We'll deal with this average uh, next time. And so I go from 10 to 60 and 15 to 35. What I want to do is I want to chart that. So over here, what I do is I chart the low as being the low right there at 25. And then the high, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack my, my series together. I'm going to stack high on top of low. So this red series is high, and this invisible series, that's the trick, is my low series. And so the way I get this number is I take C13, the high minus the low, and I say here's how much above the low I need to go to make this float. And then if you look, there's a series here. And see this series here, maybe if I put a color to it, it will be easier to, uh, should we go? let's do it this way. If I just make it look like, see how, if I hide this right now, the series is at no fill. So I, I charted it, and then once I had this series in place, I just did no fill. And you can see if I had a fill, I could make it, you know, a different color or whatever. But what I chose is no fill for the low series. So the low series appears to, to, uh, it is invisible and the chart just appears to float off the page. It's kind of a clever way to show a range of data. So it makes it very easy to say, hey, I had a lot of variability on Monday and very little variability in my wait times on Wednesday. The other thing that I did is to get this high and low here, this is just simply a text box. If you want to insert a text box, what I did is I said, all right, I can go over here and um, go to the layout menu and just insert a text box. And that's how I just wrote high and low on my chart. And if you said, hey, you know, I wish low was a little bit lower or a little bit this way or a little bit that way, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping and making it work. That's how to make a chart or a column on a chart float on a page by just simply charting it right, doing the math to say how much higher does the, ch the chart need to go on. Let me, let me just show you briefly. The chart type is a stacked column. So you do a stacked column. Hide that lower series and it appears to float on the page. And it's an easy way to see the variability in your numbers. Hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned next time. What we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down to here and just add a, a couple of more things. We're going to add a goal and then an average to this chart. And we're going to make the, the goal and the average lines while everything else is a column. See you then. Thanks for watching.